Uh, today we are working on uh, ATX PC power supply. Uh, this power supply is bad as uh, the complaint is the PC was off. It was not uh, working. All of a sudden it went off and uh, this ATX power supply there is one way that you have to replace it or otherwise on another way you have to repair it. So I am going to repair it. I am not going to junk it. Instead I am repairing it. So here is the repair for this particular power supply. This is the PC power supply you can see the rating is something bloody ATX 500 watt they are not 500 watt they are just writing on this uh, bloody scrap so just uh, you can see uh, these are the inputs uh, this is sometimes before was the output for the monitor and this is the input here is the fan and the other arrangements you know this is for the wagon rounds only so ATX power supply for the PC and here is the What's our 24 pin connector before they were 20 pin now they are nowadays they are 24 pin so here uh, we are going to try to switch it on but it is not coming switch on the reason is the pc the complaint for this power supply was the pc was dead it was not giving any output and uh, i'm going to show you how to check this how to test it uh, this thing using a multimeter you can test this thing but not 100% not fully uh, but instead up to some extent you can understand this and uh, you can test it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the multimeter uh, selector switch to voltage here now it is on voltage you can see of course the DC voltage and DC voltage is showing over here on the screen so what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the voltage on any of the output of this power supply the here is the output this is yellow wire this is 12 volt and the gray red wire of course this is 5 volt and in between two black wires they are grounds so i'm going to put my ground ground uh, probe on the ground for the meter and of course the other one which is red one i'm going to put it on the yellow or green or uh, sorry uh, red so that i will get the voltage reading so on the yellow it should be 12 volt so i'm going now on the yellow and uh, then afterwards I have to switch this thing on and uh, of course I will put a jumper and uh, two pins so that I will show these two pins to you where, from where this power supply will be switched on as the computer is switching on this power supply through a soft way that also important to know to make it switch on and here is the power of course I'm going to switch on this thing to electrify this thing and then afterwards I will see the voltage read, voltage reading for this one and uh, this is not switch on now only electrical power I provided to the power supply here you can see this is the green wire green wire on the connector and close to this is uh, something black two blacks you can see many many blacks are there so one of the black and green I have to short them with a piece of wire like this or with a piece of paper clip you can use even so then uh, while well, this will be shorted this will switch on the power supply so switching shorting this will pro will provide me 12 volt power you can see there is a change in the reading on the meter and also i'm listening to the maybe camera will not pick but i'm listening to the whistling sound from the power supply so here you can see there is a change there is a change on the multimeter you can see but this is not 12 volt you can see 12 volt is not coming so there is some problem with this power supply and uh, for this evaluation of the problem what i have to do is i have to this is not switching on actually i have to use my oscilloscope to evaluate this problem so oscilloscope i am going to connect on the same wires in ground and uh, positive positive and ground because these are the whatsoever transients are there so this transient i'm going to look at what is going on so by this way i'm just going to put my two leads to connect my oscilloscope easily ground and 12 volt of course and here on these two wires i'm just connecting my oscilloscope probe red on the positive and uh, ground uh, for ground like this and then afterwards what I have to do is I have to switch on this power supply and will show you on the oscilloscope screen what is going on so here is the reflection I'm just avoiding the reflection to some extent you can see 
so here at this point I am going to short the power supply green and uh, black to switch it on and you will see what is going on on the screen oscilloscope screen so you can see the voltage is swinging it is trying to come on and then dying down so this is the situation you can see on the oscilloscope screen I am switching on and off now it's completely switch on but there is nothing zero volt you can see and while removing it's the same way and also I have to give you a listening a sound from a power supply I'm going uh, making camera close to the power supply so that you will listen to the to the whistling of the power supply so this whistling is showing something the problem is there in the power supply what I'm suspecting is there will be a short circuit there will be short circuit on the output stage so that short circuit we will see in a moment while well, I will open this uh, cover of the power supply so here is the power supply covered off you can see here uh, this is for beginner actually this is something you know the input uh, section uh, here are the two capacitors for input here are the transistors and of course there is a power supply this is the main and here is the secondary power supplies so here are these uh, switching transistors for and of course there will be no these are the switching transistor and this will be the rectifier and here in the output stage you can see this is the output stage from where this bulky cable is coming off this is what is the output stage which is giving power to the computer just I'm going to remove it and we'll show you the inside here you can see this chalk is burnt this is a burnt chalk and here these capacitors uh, just bulged a top bulge top capacitors you can see so many capacitors one two three four five six five total in five in number five capacitors had been bulged all capacitors and uh, this output chalk had been burnt you can see this went black this one this before I also replaced one uh, to solve the problem for another power supply and here is also the case is repeated so this is a short in the output stage that's why the supply was trying to switch on and then the protection circuit inside here was uh, protecting the power supply from switching on because there was a dead shot in the output so we are going to remove this shot by replacing this chalk as well as the capacitors chalk i will replace from another power supply which is with me and sometimes i will show how to rewind this chalk we can rewind it and uh, reuse the core as uh, we will change the winding for and then we can rewind uh, and reuse this uh, chalk as well so here i will just replace it because uh, i am restoring this power supply uh, as soon as possible because this is for one of my friends so I'm showing the procedure afterwards after changing these capacitors. Here is what you can see. After replacing four capacitors, these were before five, but I omitted one and uh, I put a double capacity over here, uh, 20 something, 2200 microfarad. Before it was uh, 1000, 1002 were there in parallel. So I put one as I had one. So this is 16 volt and uh, four capacitors. All bad I replaced and now there is no bulging you can see. And uh, here is of course this output coil uh, which was bad also I did not replace it instead I wind it and here you can see I have a bunch of wires uh, just these wires come off of uh, this winding and uh, I just rewind this coil as I had some time to do it so I did it and uh, of course it worked and now I'm going to switch it on in front of you and we'll see now as you can see the power is there and just I have to put the jumper in so that the power supply will switch on and uh, we'll show you on the meter also so here now I'm going to put the jumper in as uh, this power is on now and jumper is going to be put in between the green and black to switch it on so now you can see it is going something this jumper is actually a little bit tricky to put it in coming off yeah now is okay so 12.5 volt 12.52 volt you can see on the 5, 12 volt rail and now I'm going to check for the 5 volt rail to confirm the health of the power supply so here is what I'm connected on uh, 5 volt and this is showing something 5.15 uh, which is also within the specs so this is what was our repair on this particular power supply and I'm going to show you the fan also 
here is the blower fan you can listen uh, this was also bad for this power supply I just uh, replaced this one and uh, this was the repair for this particular power supply I just uh, did not show everything to you because uh, I changed so many capacitors the winding I made uh, maybe I will be in some video if I will be encountered to same problem I will show how to rewind this toroid and these are these were the capacitors something not all but some are new also some are bad I just removed from and at the moment I don't have the ESR meter so that I have to check everything and show you so thank you for watching keep on watching subscribe and like